third match of the tournament, and Sri Lanka's second game in the competition. On August 30th Sri Lanka playing with their rivals Australia in a day and night game. This is the last day and night game for the competition. After the heated Australian summer of 95 and the World Cup final, this is the first time they meet each other in the pitch. After two games, Australia holding the number one position in the points table. Both them and Sri Lanka having two points each. But, Australia leading due to the healthy run rate. Both India and Zimbabwe yet to open their accounts. Sri Lanka made just one change. Even though they had a Shane Warne, world-class spinner in their original squad, Australia had a history of struggle in front of spinners. So, Sri Lankan selectors decided to bring up Ul Chandana instead of Ravindra Pushpakumara. That brought Sri Lanka batting line up to the next level. Other than the last man Murli Darren, all 10 players can bat really well. On the other hand, Australia made they rested Brad Hogg and Paul Riafel from the previous game and brought two debutants, Darren Leviman and Jason Gillespie. Leviman was 26 years old South Australian all-rounder. He was a middle order, left-hand batsman who can ball slow left arm orthodox. And Jason Gillespie was part of Australian World Cup squad as an extra player. He is 21 years old right arm fast bowler who played for South Australia. Australian captain won the toss and elected to bat first. This time it's just a slip and to all the viewers watching this telecast, this should be a needle match. Into this breeze. Mark Waugh has decided to attack him. And that has cleared the rope. This is a, obviously no such problems here in Colombo. That's nice placement from Michael Slater. Just. It's going to be close. And uh, umpire Mitchley has called for the replay. The Sri Lankans seem to be fairly confident that they've got run out. An excellent piece of fielding this by uh, Chandana and Michael Slater might well find himself short of his ground. Running in quickly in one action throwing and a good take by Kalu Vitarana. And taking the bails off and Slater might just not have made his ground. Yes, he will have to go so Australia have lost their first wicket. With that roar, the crowd are delighted. That's a lovely shot. It's going to fall just short of the boundary rope. Only just. So making the bowler think here, Mark Wall, two pace. Oh, excellent placement. That'll go all the way to the boundary. Lovely shot. This again is gloriously timed by Mark Waugh. Going into this game, pinning their hopes on spin, and there's Mark Waugh playing some great shots, full of grace and um, can be really daunting when he really gets going. Run right. Yep, 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 yep. That's well driven again, into the gap, and it's running away to the fence for four. Once again, a lovely drive, superb timing, and uh, once more, and perhaps uh, the most important. that one away, this could be out. Is it going to go wide of the fieldsman? Yes, it is. One bounce for four. They've got a man back at deep square leg there, and just for a second, it looked as if it might be going to carry to him, but uh, that was well played. He hit the... Well, that's short. He's got him. He's pulled it straight to short with wicket. That's a big wicket for the Sri Lanka. Karatna, the man there at short mid wicket. It was definitely there for the pull. Stuart Law onto the back foot, really wound up, but he didn't really middle it. Oh, it's gone straight through his legs. Well, there's no doubt that uh, War was trying to steer that one just wide of uh, the slip fieldsman there. It's gone all the way to the boundary. That's but, a uh, bonus for Australia. And. Uh... 
That's nice timing as well. He really does time the ball beautifully. Once he gets into position, it's gone all the way for four. That was really an effortless back foot shot. It, the ball was a little bit short. He simply led back. Oh, he's had a go at that one, and that's gone for four as well. Down the wicket, blasted him back down the ground and into the fence for four. Uh, Bucknor has to move very quickly. That's beautifully timed. It's 89. Guru Singha is a big point. And that's 50 to Mark Waugh. Very well played, Mark. 15, 54 balls with seven fours. Hit across the line, and eventually they got him out like that. I thought it was a good plan. And Jay Saree has taken a wicket. He's got rid of Mark Waugh, so he's not just a danger with the bat. Once again, Jaya Saria going for that one, and you can see him spin around there and uh, said to the umpire, no, I didn't quite. Which is the left hand in the case of a right hand batsman. So he went about that uh, in rather unorthodox fashion. That's Bevan's half century. A very well made one. Certainly. And he's gone. Clean ball. Struck a good blow for Sri Lanka. That is indeed a great blow for Sri Lanka. Steve Wall confined to single. And it's a good save. Shamin Devas keeping Sri Lanka's record intact. They haven't conceded a boundary for 14 overs. Looks like Richard Chikwi there uh, waving the flag. A chance, and Chaminda Bass has taken it. So, for only the second time in matches against Sri Lanka, they've been able to dismiss Michael Bevan. Once again, Australia losing a crucial wicket. Bevan is gone for. And uh, they've got him nailed back at 4.61 at the moment. Big blow for Australia. Oh, he's taken the bails off, and again they're asking for a replay. Well, he didn't get him last time round, and that was a delayed little uh, number, that one. He uh, looked down at the crease. He obviously wasn't out of his crease. He lifted his foot, then he pulled the bails off. Let's have a look. I think he's gone, Tony. You'll have to take a look. His leg is inside there, then he just decides to go for a run, and <laughs> this is where Galu Vitarana takes the bails off. No question about that. Lehman will have to go. Well, he didn't even have the ball in his hand. That was a lucky break for Sri Lanka. That's Got it. it! No, he hasn't. Well, we're right behind the uh, bowler here. I thought uh, that had gone straight back to the bowler. It clearly hadn't. see the back of Healy he's gone for a try to chip it over towards mid wicket to try and get runs down there but unfortunately rather like Stuart Law didn't get over the mid wicket fieldsman quick pressure attack popped up in the air that one short that's nicely played will that break the deadlock it probably will get to the fence no it won't they've dragged it back again that's gone all the way well that's the first boundary for a while and uh, Mahanama they're uh, got there. It just oh, he's had a go at that one too, and that's going in the same direction. It's going to hit to the fence as well. Will it get there? No, it's well stopped. Brilliantly stopped. And well thrown as well. Chandana to continue. Down the track comes the Gillespie, misses it, and an easy stumping for Kalu Vidarana. It's one thing the Australian.
Australians didn't want to lose another wicket at this stage, and that's exactly what's happened. Delighted Sri Lankan crowd. State of stamping. 198 for eight. Jasure doing so well in the last few overs. In the air and straight to the man at backward point. Paul Chandana can't be kept out of this game. If he's not bowling, he takes a catch. And another wicket goes. Nine down Australia. So Australia in desperate deep trouble. And then what a fine field he's been. Played away on the onside in the air. And over the man at mid-wicket for six. Just what the Australians wanted at this stage. Down the track goes Ponting. Unable to beat Jay Surya, hitting it straight back to him. So that's the end of the Australian innings. 50 overs having been bowled. Australia 228 for now. Australia made a solid start. Once again Mark Waugh showcase his batting capability by scoring 50 off 55 with 7 fours. Bevan who having continues performance against Sri Lanka, maintain the momentum by scoring 56 with two boundaries. After 33 overs Australia at a strong stance of 157 for four. Then Sri Lankan skipper, Arjuna introduced spin from both end. Murley and Upal took the game out of Australian hand and knocked their ninth wicket at the score at 203 in 46 overs. Ponteing, who made 46 added 25 for the last wicket with McGrath to give some breathing space to Australia. Chandana, the late change of Sri Lanka, made his best bowling performance till date. So there is uh, figures 110 matches, uh, an average of uh, 23, and uh, 2,380 runs. Three centuries, and believe me, the entire career on strike. Straight away. He plays that shot superbly. So he's off the mark first ball. Oh, he's got that one away off the edge. Recovered though. Gillespie's down there. He comes back for the second. So uh, that's the area that Kalu with on who I think looks a little suspect. Lewis Oren is on strike, a very similar field. Outside off start, and he's got that one over the top of the offside. That's the first boundary. That's beautifully played. It was a short delivery. He's not about to play a defensive shot, or well, not many anyhow. Just lifted that one over. He's whacked that away. That'll go for four as well. Oh, that's beautifully timed. Quick a ball again from Law, swung in a little and holding Stuart Law up. Whack again, and that's beaten the middle off field. Went all the way for four again. That's a beautiful shot. Jaya Serrera has flayed him through. Oh, he's whacked that one. This could be out. He's going to be caught. Oh, he's got him. No, he's dropped him. Well, what a blow. They've got him down there exactly for that. To get him uh, jumping in and showing his bit. Got him! Stephen War has struck. He's got rid of Kalu with Orana. Now, that one may just have nipped back a little bit. There may have been a bit of bat in it as well. But they needed a wicket early on. And the Australians, despite conceding quite a few runs early on, have... Straight down the ground. Beautifully struck. That's going to go all the way down to the fence. What a beautiful shot. Straight down the ground, right off the meat of the bat. Effortlessly played. He is some player, this fella. Jaya Saria. That's over the top. That'll run away to the fence as well. Well, that was a good shot, that one. It was just a little wide. A good as it seems to me. It did the first one. Go down to the fence for four. Pitched outside leg stump and Guru Singer managed to get a bit of bat on it and it's gone whistling away to fine leg. Easy and their spinners bogged us down in the middle order and uh, they got wickets which is uh, not well, always the case. They just want to tie you down. And we were getting out to them in the World Cup final and we lost far too many wickets for, for far few. The batsman is being down by the crowd. Flicked away, four runs again. The man at fine leg was up and more Steve Ward drifted towards leg stump. Jay Surya quick to pounce on it. And again, the 
this time oh extra cover for four more so that's three in a row the scoreboard is really ticking along this is real village queen stuff that's who they're just going after war there's nothing where slow ball picked up nicely and he finds the gap this could be four more that's the fourth boundary of the over what a over this has been for the sri lankans Smashed away, that's what happens. A little bit of width, and that is a glorious shot. It went flat along the ground, and that's six runs over point. And he cleared it with ease. Again, this time, gets the tickish outside edge, and four more runs. Frustration written all over the Australians' faces. Good. And this time it's a grossing guest turn. He doesn't quite get hold of it, but it'll land in no man's land. Wanting a second run, there'll be a run out here for sure. A mix up between Jay Surya and Guru Singhe and a direct hit from the boundary. Finds Guru Singhe short of his ground and just what the Australians wanted. Sri Lanka losing the second wicket. That certainly was a great disappointment. Edged and magnificently taken by Ian Healy. That is a brilliant catch. Jay Surya going after that one, getting a thickish outside edge, and Ian Healy pulling off an absolute blinder. And this, this pin drop silence in this crowd. And a loud shout this time for leg before, and up goes the finger. So the Australians didn't have to wait too long to taste success. Ranatunga departs, and suddenly this game changes. Sri Lanka losing their fourth wicket with only 78 runs on the board. Once again. Oh, that's got to be very close. Yes, he's gone. Damien Fleming is just getting enough movement to be disconcerting. Very good delivery once again from Fleming. He's bowling beautiful out swing his hair. And right from the first over from Steve Waugh, the ball is moving around. And all the Sri Lankans are in. Uh... Does to the scoring rate. Aravinda De Silva trying to break the shackles. Uh, wicket of Joe. He's got a long bounding run and he gathers himself well. But on that occasion, it was a little short and wide. This is the wicket where. Oh, no, he's gone over the top of it. It's gone all the way to the fence. Well, just for a second, I thought uh, there was a chance that Law would stop that one. That was beautifully driven away by... Off the edge, that should go for four as well. Well, that's gone racing away. Chalked up points for the uh, player of the series, man of the series. That is the Kia Sportage. Chance at mid-off. Oh, and it's gone straight through Damien Fleming. It's just hit too hard. Arvinda giving Mark Ward a charge. And went straight to mid-off and threw him. No one had slipped. So a long chase for McGrath. He won't get there. That's a lovely straight drive. Good footwork from Aravinda De Silva. De Silva was quick to bounce on it. And there's his 50. innings this from Arvinda De Silva turning the face a lot easier to make things happen when you have Shane Warne in the attack and that's cleared the road that's oh, an excellent shot An immaculately plain, well timed shot bringing Mahanama's 50. Very well deserved 50 given the silver all the support in this very, very useful partnership for Sri Lanka when. Oh, and he's bowled him, he's gone across too far. So Glenn McGrath has got rid of uh, Roshan Mahanama. Occasionally he does do that. 
just goes across a bit too far. That's the end of a very fine innings by Mahan Amash. Australia that it gets everything right at this stage. Chandana has found the gap and found the boundary rope. So the 200 comes up. So Bevan once again person. And that's well played. He's a lovely player of the pull shot, Aravinda De Silva. Sri Lanka, 207 for six. Well, that's well played. Beautiful shot. He's cut that one into the gap on the offside, all the way for four. That's a magnificent shot. This little fella can play as well. Let's not to forget uh, Roshan Mahanama either. Oh, he's hit that one. That's gone miles. What a good shot. Just short of the fence, I think it was. A magnificent full shot. Way in front of a square. Oh, he's driven that beautifully through the covers. It's racing away towards the fence. That's a magnificent cover drive. Aravinda de Silva at his best. Absolute elegance. Through the covers. Scores are equal. One to win. That's it. He's whacked it away. It's racing away to the fence. It's gone for four. Tremendous innings by Aravinda de Silva. They looked as if they were in all sorts of trouble. And this young man, with all his experience, has come to the party. Undefeated on 83. And boy, do they appreciate it. Their team are world champions and they're playing like them. Sanath played another dashing knock. With eight fours and a six he scored 44. But Sri Lanka lost three wickets when the scoreboard shows the figure of 78. To make things even worse Hashin lost his wicket when the score showing 81 for five. Then last recognized batsman, Roshan joined the Sri Lankan greatest batsman ever, Aravinda and built 115 for the sixth wicket. Roshan, as always did his duty to Mother Lanka by scoring another brilliant knock of 50 with three balls. Chanda came next and put the last nail to Australian coffin. Aravinda was the man behind the success story again. He reminded his magnificent World Cup final century to everyone by scoring 83 not out in 95 with 11 fours. This gives another man of the match performance to Sri Lankan master batsman, Aravinda De Silva. His brilliant performance gives Sri Lanka a nail-biting four wickets win. With the match between Australia and Sri Lanka, day and night chapter of the series concluded. India and Zimbabwe walked to SSC pitch on September 1st to play the fourth game of the tournament. One debutant from Indian camp. This is Sunil Joshi's first ever international appearance. Sachin won the toss again and he asked Zimbabwe to bat first. Zimbabwe were not being able to stand in front of Indian spin attack. Kumbal took four wickets and debutant Joshi took two. Andy Flower scored 78 and Craig Wishart scored 53. It was an easy target for India. 91 runs for the first wicket lay the foundation for them. Judeja played attacking knock of 68 with 6 fours and 2 success. India passes the winning margin in 43.5 overs. It was 7 wicket easy win for them and Judeja was adjudicated as the man of the match. Sri Lanka, with 2 wins reached to the finals and they the point table winner. India opened the points column but Australia in the second slot due to healthy run rate. Zimbabwe officially out from the competition due to 2 loses. However, next game for them is with Sri Lanka. Let's see what has happened on the match in our next episode.